Yes, don't yeah. ever let anybody tell you that you're not. Because you all are masterpieces. Everybody is a masterpiece in here. There's no one else in this room like you. There's no one like you. There's no one like you. There's no one like you. And we're gonna talk about that later. We're gonna talk about the distinction. Next slide, please. Uh, some of the topics, and we're not gonna be able to get to all of them, uh, but we're gonna talk about uh, uh, what is a leader. And as you see, looking at the slide, you see 8713, right? If you add those numbers up, we're seniors. How many is uh, everybody here seen? Pretty much? Uh, we have a lot of seniors. Half and half. half, half. Juniors. How many juniors? Who going to Raleigh? Rotary Youth League Association. Okay. We gotta make sure that the next year we need to pass that down. Anybody went to Raleigh last year? It's a camp, a leadership camp up in uh Big Bear. And so your juniors, a lot of juniors will be going from this uh, uh, beginning in the week for now. But 8713, that's the world view. You add that up, that's 100. That's the population of the world. And regardless where you go, if I pick 10 people out of this room, those numbers are going to fall out just like that. If I pick 100,000 100, million, it's still going to fall out 8713. So we're going to talk about that. We're also going to talk about the four C's. We're going to talk about dream big, think, think big, be big. Uh, but uh, before we get started with this next slide, please, I'll tell you a little bit, a little bit about me. I'm a business owner, teacher, writer. Got a few books out. Uh, got a couple of them over here for, for you guys to get. Uh, but you know, most importantly, I'm a parent. And as a parent, we want to make sure that our kids get the best opportunity with the best foundation to be the leaders of tomorrow because there's nothing you can do that's going to happen. So we might work to develop those, the leadership skills of the foundation right now. Um, military, I was in the Navy for 23 years. I'm a retired Naval officer. I'm also a ROTC, JROTC instructor at the college and high school level. Uh, my writing and this and that, but it's not about me. But I'm gonna show a quick video that's gonna tell you a little bit more of where I came from. And he started with next to nothing and then he built a successful life in the military. And now this San Diego is building a new generation of kids. Ken News Anchor Virginia Shaw reports James Cooley is using hard lessons to help those kids carve their own futures. I was born in San Diego. To understand just how far James Cooley has come, you have to know where he started. I was born uh, the seventh of uh, ten kids. My mother could not uh, really afford to take care of all of us. James was six when his mother sent him and a brother to live with their aunt and uncle in Alabama. But life was not easy there. A lot of water. Electricity, uh, uh, electric stove, cellar, uh, refrigerator. You know, I have all of those things. At 11, James returned to Tennessee. The turning point came at age 14, where a teacher told him she believed in him. That made me think that there might be a better life up there. Plus. While on a bus, he saw a Navy recruiting center. He enlisted at 18, then quickly rose through the ranks, recognized for being capable and committed. What drives you to keep going, keep trying to take risks? My most important thing was I had a lot of uh, young sailors behind me that I had to be a role model. After 23 years, James retired as a lieutenant, a major accomplishment. From there, defense contract work. He launched his own company, went back to school to earn six master certificates, and then started working with boys and girls clubs. That's why it hit me that this is what you are supposed to be doing. He now helps kids carve their own path the way he did. Through partnerships with schools, churches, and community organizations, the J.C. Cooley Foundation mentors students <coughs> and tells them a simple but powerful message. Dream big, do big, be big, and everything that you do. I'm Virginia Shaw, 10 News. Winter Richard. So, next slide, please. That's a little bit about me. Everybody got their own path. It doesn't matter what situation or circumstances that you think you might be born in. Uh, that is, uh, you might have seen to be great. There's always a path for you. This is uh, uh, school stuff that I grew 
really fun. But it's not all about me today. It's about you. It's about you. Understanding that you all, each and every last one of you are special. And that each and every last one of you has purpose. You are born in this world with purpose. And each and every last one of us in here have what we call birthrights. We got the same exact birthrights. Doesn't matter whether you're black, white, pink, gold, or purple, whatever. We got the same exact birthrights. And those birthrights are confidence, courage, hope, belief, and most importantly, faith. Each and each and every last one of us have those five birthrights. And you also have a different birthright that makes you uniquely different than the next person that's sitting next to you. It's kind of like your own fingerprint. Your own fingerprint. No one else is like you in this room. No one. No one is like you. No one is like you. No one is like you. But everybody has purpose. You are born with all the necessary tools and ingredients inside of you right now. You are born with it to be successful in whatever you do. The challenge that we have as leaders as persons, as individuals, <coughs> we have to be able to figure out what is our purpose. Uh, what is our purpose? My mom and my dad told me to go to school, I gotta go to school. Yes, you gotta do that. But you have purpose because you all are going to set this world on fire. We occupy the world today. It's gonna be passed to you all. You all will be the future leaders of tomorrow. You will make policy. You would set the standard. And it's not just in Temecula or Riverside County. Sooner or later, you guys are going to be doing it for the world. But you have to have the necessary building blocks and tools to get there. So we're going to talk about leadership. 8710.3. Without me, or without you all knowing what that means, how many 87% of we have in the room? Raise your hand. How many 10% of we have in here? How many 3%? You know what? This is truly great oak. This is the best school in this area. Uh, I probably wouldn't put my hand up either because I don't know. I mean, I don't know what he's talking about, right? <laughs> right? <laughs> and that's, that's how you do it. Let me tell you. I believe that everybody in here is at least, at least, a 10%. And I'm going to break it down. 87, 10, 3, that equals what? 100%. That's the population of the world. 87% of the world population, the whole world population, is average, ordinary, and below. And they would do anything that anybody tell them to. You tell them, I want you to take this chair, walk around the school five times, and put it on this other side. You know what they're going to do? 87% of the world, they're going to pick this chair, they're going to walk around the building, and as they're walking, they're going to start walking slow. Got eight more hours. Oh, I got three more hours. Then they're going to start slowing down. I got 30 minutes. Put this chair on the other side. Now I can clock out. 87% of the population of the world only concentrate on this thing called Job. Anybody know what job stands for? You guys are seniors and juniors, so I'm gonna go a little bit deeper with you all. Anybody got, got an idea what job stands for? I'm gonna tell you, job stands for just over broke. <laughs> just over broke. <laughs> if, if that means that the world, if you choose to be average and ordinary, the world is gonna make you average and ordinary. They're gonna give you just enough money to pay for your, your, your rent, your rent or house payment, a car payment, food, maybe save 50, this is all the money. And guess what? A lot of people can deal with that because they're not true leaders. A leader is going to dig deeper down inside and say, I need to do better than that. Average, ordinary, and below. No. So there is no 87% of them here. I already know that. Most of us in here are 10%. 
temper centers, if I told a temper center to take this chair, walk around the building five times, and put it over here, what's the first thing you're going to say if I told you to do that? <laughs> okay, let's, let's try that again. What, what would you say? Why would you say no? Close. Good point. Ten percent of the first thing I'll say is, why do I want to do something like that? What? I mean, what's the purpose? What's the purpose? There's no purpose. I mean, I'm not going to do that. Why should I do that? Let me tell you. If you don't know why you're doing something, if somebody tells you to do something and you don't know why you're doing it, if Mr. Skag told you to do your homework and you're supposed to do your homework, if you don't know what the purpose is, have faith and confidence, respectfulness, and say, Mr. Skag, uh, can you explain to me a little bit of why this is important? This is homework for one thing, and this is why you're doing it, because everything that we do is a learning experience, right? So if your mom and your dad, your sister, brother, whoever tell you to do something, you don't know why you're doing it, you're just doing it, you're wasting time. Ask the question respectfully, why? And that's what leaders would do. You don't give anybody an assignment as a leader without them understanding why they're doing it. That make any sense? <laughs> yeah, so it starts with us. In order to be a true leader, we must have had to be a good follower. Because as leaders, we follow, we, we do things, we come across situations. I always say that with seniors and juniors, you put a bag on each side. When you're coming up, when you when you when you're following in, when you see things, you're gonna see a lot of good things. You grab the good stuff, put it in this bag. You're gonna see a lot of bad things. You grab some of the bad stuff, you put it in the other bag. Throughout life, you do that. Because one of these days, you're gonna have to revert back to the bags in order to be a good leader. So a lot of the good things, if you have a problem with certain things, so I don't know how to do this, but so-and-so had this, so you look in the, in the bag of good, and you're able to pull some of that stuff out that you Or you find yourself in a situation and say, oh, that's bad, that's, if somebody tells you to do something, you tell somebody to do something, it, it's not good, you look in the bag, the bag of the bag and say, oh, no, 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 I, that's what happened when I did that. So that's what leadership is all about. So 10% of the world population should ask why if you don't know what you're doing. Now, 3% of the world population, they follow what we call the golden rule. Anybody know what the golden rule is? <coughs> Say that? I kind of like that, but that's not the golden rule. <laughs> the golden rule, the golden rule in, in society today, which is uh, probably not right, Golden rule is whoever had a gold rule. That's the golden rule. So, but that needs to be changed. Whoever had a gold rule. You got to get that? That needs to be changed. That's why we got a new form of leadership, which is you all. You all are the future leaders of tomorrow. It's not all about authoritarian and just because I got more money, you got to do what I have to do. Just because I got this, you got to do this. You ain't got that, so that means you got to do this. You all have purpose. Everybody got their own thing. It's not all about how much money you got or how much status you got. It's about doing the right thing, treating people the right way, leading the right way. The school is following you all. You all are the senior leadership for ASB. That means the underclassmen are looking up to you all. So when they're looking up to you all, you guys have to set the right example. And with the right example, I use this analogy called the HIE. HIE. Anybody know what that stands for? Honesty, integrity, and ethics. Honesty. You gotta always be honest with yourself. With everything you do, you gotta be honest with yourself. You know, you cannot, it's easy for us to tell a lie to ourselves, right? Probably that we have. If we start believing in that. We still believe in our own lives. Always be honest with yourself. That's the H portion. The I is integrity. Integrity is doing the right thing. And the most important thing about doing the right thing is, is when no one is watching you, you don't have to do the right thing, right? 
but then that does not be a great character. You gotta be able to do the right thing when no one is looking. You know, so that's what leadership is all about. And the E stands for what? Ethics. Ethics. Ethics means we follow the rules. Thou shall not drive 55 miles an hour. Thou shall not, but we all break that sometimes. <laughs> but ethical rules, we have to set our standards to a, a, a lot higher level than the rules. If you set your standard, say the speed limit is whatever, well, making an A, you set your standard to making an A, the highest level that you can. If you make a C and you did everything that you could to make, make an A, but you made a C, you made an A. But you gave it your all. Next slide, please. Attitude. Attitude, commitment, and enthusiasm. Can we play that though? Yeah. Now we're getting ready to get off into the leadership portion, the major leadership portion, but the foundation has to be good for us. This is this one, right? Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. And for attitude, commitment, and enthusiasm. Let's talk about the A. Attitude. A lot of times we are confronted with things or in situations and we often react because we're not, for one thing, walking around with the right attitude where we get an opportunity to think. Attitude will make or break you. Most of the time, the first thing, depending on where you're at with your attitude, you want to react, you want to hit, you want to say something. You want to do the first thing that comes to your mind. We all have this split second, this split second, where we can think about it. Somebody bump into you and say something. We can think about it. I need to dream big, think big, and be big. Be big is not in that you. It's in heart and it's in mind. <coughs> you don't always have to react when you're confronted with a negative situation. Let me talk about the C and A. The C stands for commitment. What does the C stand for? What does the C stand for? Commitment. In order to be committed to anything, you must be committed to yourself. And what I mean by committed to yourself, you must be committed to you telling the truth, you being honest with yourself, regardless what it is. It's in there, just like I mentioned to you, is being excited. Just being excited just because you was able to wake up this morning. I mean, I'm excited. I woke up, the, the good Lord gave me another day, I'm happy. That's why I'm I'm just, I'm just, I'm happy about it, and I'm gonna walk around. I cannot be walking around mad at the world or pissed off about something. Or mommy wouldn't let me do that, daddy. They they did all these things. I'm just so come on. Put that energy toward a positive thing. Just like Michelle Obama said, when they swing low, you what? Attitude. Commitment and it's Thank you so much. Hey, you know what, Ted? Attitude. Everything starts off in attitude. When we wake up in the morning, like I said in the video, when you first wake up, that just dictates how your day is going to be. There's no such thing as I woke up on the wrong side of the bed. Wake up with a positive attitude. Try to wake up and think of something positive for that day. Anything that happened yesterday, last week, week before that, et cetera, let it go. There's nothing you can do to go back and fix that. We can learn from it. So life starts off with attitude. Anything that you do in life is going to be dictated from your attitude. If you come in thinking that you can't, guess what? You can't. If you're going in with a positive that says, I can, you can. One of the things in attitude, if we get caught up in this thing called the I, the me and the mind. It's all about I, 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 me, 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 my, 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 my. You get caught up in the world by yourself. And you cannot live 
and just worry about yourself alone. So we need to get rid of the I, the me, the my. We need to adopt this thing called the we, the us, the are. Because if we put our mind together with anything, we can succeed anything. We can we can be successful at anything. It's all about teamwork. So you know, one of the things that uh, we're going to talk about here is the four C's. Next slide. Okay. Anyway, Show the video. Yes, sir. Got to keep me honest with you. Let me do that, Daddy. Right they, they did all this. I'm just. Yeah. It's this one, right? That's it. Who you are. And once you know who you are, you truly know who you are. Love who you are. Love who you are. You're a masterpiece. Love who you are. Love who you were born to be. Love, love me for me. That's what I'm talking about. When you leave high school, you gotta know today or tomorrow, hopefully today, what your plans are. Hopefully. Yeah, there is no bad decision unless there is no plan. Create, collaborate, commit with confidence. Commit with what? Commit with what? And everything that you do. If you can see it here, you can do it. You might not be able to see it with the physical eyes. But if you can see it here, you can do it. Don't let anyone tell you that tell you that you cannot do it. You are all about the future leaders of tomorrow. I, I am a leader. I am a senior. I will be one of the leaders of this world. So if you know yourself and if you love yourself, you got confidence, you can share yourself, you can be who you are. It doesn't matter if you're short, tall, fat, big, whatever, black, white, pink, no purple. It doesn't matter. You step up with confidence. You are a masterpiece. You are a leader. So, let me tell you a little bit about uh, my latest stuff. Everything is built on what I call the four C's. <laughs> the four C's. Do anybody remember what they are? The four C's are what? Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, you know what? I'm gonna have to make sure. Okay, you gotta see it now. <laughs> um, hey, before, before, you gotta keep me on track with the time. Okay. 13 minutes. 13 minutes. You all would know what the four C's are. But one of the things that I want to express on right now is when you're doing something and you commit to doing something, you have to have confidence that you can do it. You know, you have to have confidence. Uh, so, case in point, I'm, I'm getting ready to pick on somebody. Uh, you, stand up, please. So, you want to call it next, right? Hey, come up here.
what? You, you see what just happened when it comes to leadership? They, they, they stepped up. We all are leaders, by the way. But they're going to help me sing a song that they don't know anything about. But, but, you can go up there. Go before the song goes. Come on. He wants you up there. Yeah. Somebody else in here or somebody else around have those thoughts. In order for us to really expand those, in order for us to become great leaders, in order for us to build a foundation, we have to be able to collaborate. Collaborate those thoughts. And because you said, well, I was thinking about this, and all person might say, well, wow, that's great. I had the same idea. I had the same idea. Then another one, I got the same idea. You put all these things together. Just like we talked about a few minutes ago, we talked about 87. We talked about 10, we talked about three. And I deliberately held back on this because 
Uh, anybody remember Mark Zuckerberg? He's the uh, founder of what? <laughs> Facebook. So, getting back to 87103, Mark Zuckerberg was a 10% of And he had these ideas of bringing social media in live time. Meaning that, you know, as it happened, you see it because it used to be, and you guys don't remember that, the only time you got the news was 11 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 11 o'clock, or you read about it in the paper the next day. And way before your time. But, <laughs> but he had this idea of bringing this in. So he came up with this algorithm. Anybody know what an algorithm is? What's it, what is algorithm? It's basically um, a, a mass equation you can use a search for certain variables. You're absolutely right. Now, just in ancient history, everything is based on numbers. In case you didn't know about that. Everything, voice. Uh, anything, everything is based on numbers, zeros and ones. Zeros and ones. I'm sure most of you already know that. Everything is based on that. So he came up with this algorithm and he created this, but he went to the powers that be and said, hey, I got this great idea that we'll be able to bring social media or things that are happening in live, right now in live time. They said, that ain't even, that, that's not possible. Get out of here. So the powers that be, the three percenters kicked him out. Golden rule, we ever had a gold what? Rule. So he kicked him out. So he went back and he asked, he said, hey, I got this idea. And he said, this is an algorithm, this and this and that. That's first time. I got this idea, we can do this. I got this idea, we can do this. I got this idea. Collaboration. When you share things and you collaborate together, you build a stronger team. You build a stronger leadership style. You build everything. Collaboration. So he went back three years later. He had built this algorithm up, super algorithm, and went to the powers of being and said, hey, I want to share it again. They said, didn't we kick you out three years ago? Get it. He said, no, I'm not going to do that. Because he had enough confidence and courage to go out and reach and share his ideas with others. So this time they let him present. And he had people planted all around the world. And when it came up, he had a screen just like this. China, you did that, boom, boom, live. One second later. Japan, boom. Russia, boom. You know, Korea, boom. Once you do something that ain't nobody else has done, and if you're a 10%, if you do something, which percentage you go, what category you're going to fall into? You done did something no one else has done. There's only three categories, 87, 10, and 3. How many people say he went to the 3% category? How many people say he did? How many people said... My thing is this, you do something that ain't nobody else has done, guess which category you're going to go to? The top one or one or one or one or one. That's what ideas is all about. That's what sharing, that's what collaboration. So create, collaborate. If we are going to be successful at anything that we do in life, we have to develop this attitude called commitment. We have to commit to being a better person. We have to commit to doing our homework. We have to commit to everything. If you don't commit to doing something, and if somebody asks you, they say, hey, are you going to do your homework today? Well, I'm going to try. That ain't no commitment. Get rid of the word try. If you use the word try, that means you give yourself an avenue out. And you are a leadership. Try, and if you don't do it, why you, well, I said I'm going to try. No. Commitment. Try and and but. You know, those three are negative connotations. I was walking down the street, but a car came by and almost hit me. So focus. Create, collaborate, commit. Commit with what? Confidence. Commit with what? Confidence. Commit with confidence in everything that we do. As leaders, again. You all are the leaders of the school, or the ASB. You guys control all the activities. You guys are well, what the other underclassmen are walking around, looking at you guys, modeling you all, want to be like you all. They're going to be in your position next year. So we have to make sure that we set the foundation. Leadership is all about giving forth your best effort. How much time we got, Mr. Stanks? Yeah, no, two minutes. minutes. Two minutes. So uh, I'm going to open this up uh, for some questions. Uh, it's been an absolute pleasure. I mean, I wish I had a little bit more time. You guys are great. Any questions about anything? We got to. Yes. How long have you been talking to like schools for? Like going to different schools? Uh, about seven years. Uh, about seven years there. We speak. Uh, have about 50, 60 events a year.
uh, getting opportunities, especially to Meckler and Murrieta, that I really enjoy coming and speaking uh, to these students here because I live here. Yeah. Yes? Uh, what kind of products do you make in your company? What, well, right now, what I was uh, is more of a consultant. Now, I'm not doing that right now. I still got my company open, but I'm an aerospace engineer, so I was designing uh, portions of the Jump Strike Fighter F-22 AMF jitter. You know, along those lines, uh, fighter jets. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hold on. Come back to me. Yes. Aerospace. Uh, Central Michigan. Central Michigan. I, uh, I graduated from Central Michigan with uh, the Double League, yep. which is uh, a yes. Do you have any podcast? Yes, I do. We have a YouTube channel. We have a website, we have everything. Yeah, so, uh, hey, one, one of the things I want to mention to you guys is, uh, especially seniors and juniors, uh, we do a, a program here, similar to this, probably a little bit bigger, once a month. Uh, Great Oaks have been in attendance. You guys are seniors. You get community service hours, and you also get a chance to compete for scholarships. Last year we gave away 31. We gave away scholarships at the Temecula Dollar for Scholars. This and that, anybody that put their application in. Uh, but you guys are welcome to come to our program. Um, uh, as I mentioned to you, you got a new book coming out, Country Boy, City Boy Journey. It ain't over yet. It's going to be released in August the 24th. Some of my writings and stuff are here. Um, so, any more questions about anything? You guys have been absolutely great. Those five students, uh, make sure that you come up and get your t shirt. I'll give it to them. Yes. Uh, any, any, any other questions? Thank you. Thank you so much.